Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Place. It's time for round 5 of the Cripple Cup. Round 5, that means round 2 of the playoffs. But first we need to... Uh, actually I noticed we need to buy some share leaders and then I'm gonna sell all of them because they're not working. We haven't gained any rerolls. We got one where both people gained a reroll. But everyone here is uh, higher, higher than me. Uh, we're going to play some Norse with uh, roughly the same. We're going to get uh, accept invitation not found. Okay, well let's do that then. Uh, right. So he has all the money he needs to buy some inducements. We're gonna get 10k on top of it. So let's have a look at her team. It's Yuxe, Yeti, and Cubs. He still has his Yeti. No, his Yeti is out this game. So that's why his team value is comparable to ours. He has a mighty blow, bunch of frenzy, blocking everyone. We lost against the last Norse we, met, we played against. Shubnigurath. Um. So, uh, since we can't buy two babes, we should uh, we should probably pick up a wizard. We keep the rest of the money. He bought a wizard. So if we want something to uh, to put us ahead, we should buy like a babe, maybe. Oh, we need the uh, money for the minnow for the next season. So let's uh, let's just go with the wizard. wizard. That's the second time someone has emptied their bank in the playoff game against us. Well, we managed last time thanks to uh, Grishnak Blackhoof, the star player, who uh, ran around and was a complete beast. Uh, no pun intended. But he got the cash on a troll, he removed the black orc, he uh, kept people busy, he got the guy everywhere. Oh. We're not gonna have him for this game, but there's not gonna be a Yeti on the opponent team, so that's fair, I guess. Right, well, this is gonna be decided by. Hoof and hoof. Yeah. Mm, good luck, have fun. Uh, right, yes, we're gonna start on offense because we want to punch Norse as quickly as possible and remove them from the field. have strength 4, if you haven't seen Norse before. Uh, our last guy didn't have any wolves because they don't have block, so they're a bit risky, kind of like everyone on our team. Uh, we could uh, blitz him, but on the other hand that leaves uh, Chaos Warrior exposed. And he has armor 8, so he's not really the most juicy target. Perhaps we instead go for his Runner who has Dauntless, he could be dangerous to us. Okay, let's bring the, this guy out. Put this guy in. Let's go for the four strength bolt carrier. That's pretty good against everybody. Cliff the cowboy. I guess we try to get it on him. He doesn't have block though. That could be bad against these guys. But we're not gonna let him hit him, right? So, I think we're fine. Form setup. Not too far on the edges in case you get a blitz. Probably D 
defense allows him to reorganize. Is he going to oh, he's gonna move his guy so we get fewer hits on the line? Fair enough. Have to move someone up here to get all the hits on the line. Freeze up these guys though. And that's his mighty blow guy. He's gonna be a rough one to deal with. If we can remove him, then we're on even footing, I'd say. Right, so let's start by... Bull is pretty safe. I think we start with this. Gonna hit in on his runner. Nope. It's okay. At least it's not entirely. Let's hold off for now. We don't want contact against these guys who have so much block. I'll bring up a guy here. Allows him to pressure us on this side. Let's take the two guys. They're safer than the pickup. And seven armor on the north means we can maybe get some. I need to follow that actually to get an assist here. Not that I need an assist here, now that I think about it. It is the first strength. And that's why I shouldn't have done it. Okay, well if I follow here, I guess I can do this. I wanted to follow there so he had a worse shot at this. He has to put someone into Mark. Okay, no damage at all. That is not what you want to see. Let's try for the 4 strength ball carrier. Good. Got the pick up. That's always a bonus. Let's bring this guy in the middle. He can reach us, but he can't really afford to lock us. I don't think we need to move anyone else. Everybody's in good positions, and time ran out anyway. Gotta remember that clock, only one minute in this tournament style. Alright, he's gonna go on the edge. Bother us here, and then maybe Mark the ball carrier. Gets down Buttercup. Go for it. Go for it, success. Forcing us to blitz there, that's a four strength. We have blocks though. Stands up the guy in the line. If you're not going to dodge him, you could have done that before the blitz. But it's a minor concern when you don't fail it. It's times you fail it, but you realize, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Gets the two die there, which I knew he could take, but it forces him to at least keep this guy in our. Both of these guys in our tackle zones. So we actually get two for one could say. It's gonna tie up everybody here. I feel like we'll be okay though. Well, that's annoying. If I stand up here I get surfed. Piss him off, go up here, right? You can be standing then. Let's push. That's what you call that. Push. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this would be good. Get up there. Standing. At least now the angle on this is bad, so we'd have to blitz with someone else. Uh, have a one die out here. I could make that a two die. It's probably better than going to assist on this. I can take this anyway on a one die. 
across its side. Ooh, we got a knockdown. Thank you, well stay though. Good. Good stay. Otherwise he could have ran around and caused some issues. So I'll try to push this guy away. Good. Then we have this maybe, two dice. Okay, that's the end of our fortune when it comes to blocking. Unfortunately this guy's still attacked. And now he's alone as well. Gets the push with the frenzy. But he's not going to be able to surface there. Although he could push us there and then run in and surface, I suppose. We bring someone there and then bring someone over here to Blitz. He's thinking about it. No, he takes the lock there instead. Saves his Blitz because he can actually get to the ball this time. Tie him up, knock this guy away, and then he has a red eye on the ball. With block, though. Could work. Although, if he's gonna hit with him, then if this is a push, it goes into a red line. But he doesn't get a push. Instead, he gets a stun. And same deal here, actually. If it's a push, uh, it goes into a one die. But it's not a push, it's actually double power again. Okay, now we have some issues here. Is there any way I can chain push myself free? No, not since he moved from there. Ooh! One die into two die, and the two die is a double skull. Okay, well he's still marked though. I could blitz him off, tie him up, push him off, and then I'll have the ball carrier free. Retreat a little bit. I think I'll have to do that. But this has to work strictly. I do like hitting this guy though. Ah, uh, it's a push. He's falling into frenzy traps though. Maybe we can get him to do that again. That'll do. Let me see. I think I want to push this guy away from us. Let's stay there though. You come back here, maybe. Stand you up. Two die there, two die here. This one's more important. Can't follow that because he can open this. Oh, this is good. Ah, uh, just stop. Needs some removals. Can't have the Norse uh, stay alive all game. I think I'll bring this guy into here. They're not gonna dodge much on us unless they have to. Another push here, maybe? Yes. Stay. And then you. I have blitzed, right? Yes. So you come up here then. I don't have a bribe, I have a wizard. I'm not gonna use my wizard. Hopefully he just uh, tries to frenzy us that way, that, that won't do much damage to us. This guy can go down though. There he goes. Follows again. Tie up there, hit him. He can't really do it much anyway. So, it's okay. Did we get a removal? No, we got a stun. Hang 
Well, this is a two die. And freeze this guy up. That's a two die. Oh, well. He has rolled a double skull, so we can't play. Keeps giving us hits, but most of our guys are on the ground. Hmm. I could hit him actually. If I stand up here, I have a punch of him. But it's pretty bad now. Where do I move to? That's not good. I think I stand over here. Bring this guy over later. You stand up. Blitz with you after this hit. Actually, no. Before that hit. Good. Some armor breaks, please. Good. Something better than stuns, please, I should have said. Too late. Okay, so you come back here then. That means you can definitely go and protect the other side. Giving them a little bit spaced apart in case he decides to use the wizard suddenly. And then I want to push with you, because if you get knocked down it's less worrisome than if the corner guy goes down. Do we follow that so he might uh, hit us with the wolf? Maybe not. There we go. I broke my wish. Can we keep that up, please? Okay, I want to take this. Might the low guy. If he goes down, it's good. If not, we want him off us at least. I could move here. Go to die here, and that's a risky, risky move. But we have block here. It worked. No casualty. Got a blitz left. There. Okay, let's take a one move now. Let's not take a one die. I guess we shouldn't take one die. It's blocks against block. Jump up. Goes into tag. Tag it there for a two die. Gets him down. Maybe one die block would have been to prefer. Although those results would have knocked us down even if we were the ones doing the hitting. Uh, is this a frenzy trap? It is, but he gets it on the first hit. We've been a one die on the second, which isn't terrible when you have block. At least he's now trapped on him unless he dodges away. But he's gonna be surrounded, because that's a knockdown too. I guess I can stand up and give him a hit. I'm not getting anywhere, but there, there is an opening here actually. I could move straight up here. Can I make a cage up there? Uh, I have two, one, two, three beastmen free. One die for push. I could uh, just push that back if it follows. And then I'll have three beastmen free. I can free this guy for four. And the blitz would make the fifth. I'm counting my uh, guy who's in the middle. Okay, so you guys. Could have freed him up. Maybe not. Okay, this is scary though. She gets served. Uh, but I can't free him up. That's the safest move, so let's take that. Oh, safest move. Oh well. That would have been a failure anywhere. I guess the failure here would have been worse. So the play was to push him away. Ooh, there's the fireball. Gets one. Into casualty. 
gets two into stun. Gets three, but failed on the bone carrier. I guess he failed the most important one, but he got three out of four, which is kind of good. That's a two die with Dauntless. So there goes the ball, but also his wizard. Take his skull. Okay, good scatter for him. That would have been much better for us, of course. There, it is free. He has no one who has free. Oh, there, there's this ball guy. He used the ball guy to hit, though. Although he doesn't have short hands, he has pass. So, I guess he's not that much of a ball guy. Unless you want to pass. The runner's gonna pick it up. If he stays there, though, I have a two die on him. If he goes here, I can have a two die on him from there. With a bit of an assist. If he goes back here, same deal. I might not be picking it up. He's gonna have two die for a stun. So we have two guys stunned and one injured in this turn. And another goes down. And another stun. So three guys stunned and one injured. Sixty-seven pickup into a spot where we can get a pretty easy two die on him. Failed the pick up. Now what? Well, first order of business, everybody who's on the ground and can stand up, tell us. I might blitz there actually. I don't think I'll blitz this. I just need to get my guys back for now. I could chain push here. Although I can't really chain push anything important. And it'd be a one die. So where should this guy stand? Over here probably. Need some guys on the ball. He gets an easy assist there, but that's a frenzy trap. I need to try this one guy. Okay, that's not terrible. Hit? No, we dodge this guy out and put him back here. Keep some guys free so I can do something next time. Well, we have to recover from that wizard. We still have a wizard of our own if things go bad. Worst case scenario, he scores here. But if he, he looks like he's going to score, we use our wizard and perhaps we can prevent it. And then we're just left with him having his drive and maybe we can stop him. Reasonable scenario is no one scores here. We keep the wizard. We use the wizard to take the ball on the second half and uh, maybe can turn that to drive around in our favor. We get a good shot at it. But he's going to get some hits here since we're short handed now. Scatter the ball with his own player into the hands of the Chaos Warrior. Fails it into the hands of the Oof. Fails it into the middle of everybody. So that's not doing much. He could punch him off if he does that, of course, and then he'd have this free the ball up and a free pickup. It's a guy down. How many players does he still have? Only one out. But we only have one out too, so this should be even. All of our players are on the ground. This is a five player fireball right here. So if he tries to pick up, we have a five player fireball right here. Dauntless. That's it. We follow. Yes. Okay, so the fire will be worse now. Pick up. He gets it. And he's off. Well, we can easily blitz that, so we don't have to use the fireball. Unless he gets him down. 
No, we don't. Have this. Good. Okay, then we can blitz this. So, in that case, yeah, we can actually get two guys over there. Let's put him here. We could always knock somebody off. I'm gonna stand everybody up again, let him roll the dice, and hope he rolls uh, turnovers. If he rolls a turnover, he could be going here. So, uh, I'm gonna keep this guy in case we get the ball loose, we might be able to. Two die. Fifty-five percent down. Yes, thank you. Push it this way, because it's further from him. And the stop. Ooh, actually an injury. Is that better. That's good, because then he's not there to retrieve it. One percent gone. The ball's in a tackle zone. Am I satisfied with that, or am I going to go for it? I think I'll do a go for it. Okay, good work. Then I think we pull this guy out. We're not gonna go for it to pick it up, but we are going to go for it to knock this guy down, so we at least have the ball in our court, so to speak. Right. Well, we can't score now. Actually, we can. But this guy is gonna be free. Now we can score, and we have a two die on this guy. I almost missed that. Cool. Did we stay or did we leave? I think we stay. Should put him there. Uh, he's gonna have a tough time reaching. Uh, I should have put him there because then he couldn't reach that this easily. All right. Well, we have a play to score. Our opponent needs to get someone into, into uh, the scoring range this time. He doesn't mark our scoring threat. Well, with that guy at least. Pushes. I'm happy with pushes, although a double skull would be really nice for right now. Don't listen to two dice. No, he gets it. Is he going to be able to free anyone here? Not by putting him there, actually. If he pushed him here, he could have freed that guy up to go. Well, he can't get through here anyway. There's the double skull! Glory! Okay, so... What do we have? Pick the ball up, toss it to this guy. Plan A. Is there a plan B that's better? We could uh, at least blitz him to not have... Blitz him and tackle him. To not have anyone uh, receiving, or uh, rather, choose to go first. But, didn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. For that, he's marked. Get you up. Pushes. That's fine. Uh, just slide this guy over here, I see. So... That's actually a better pass, but it takes... It would take another 67 percent. Let's pick it up and see what the... How the order the side. If we were to go here, it would be a... 33... Into 67. If you hand here, it's 67, 50, 67. So if 50, 50, 67, 33, that's the same. So we just do this thing. Ah, uh, it. Oh well. That was a 1, so it would have failed. Any, anything we would have tried there would have failed. I could have ran in here and gotten another two die off. Now he gets a dauntless hit on a Chaos Warrior, which could be bad for us. But he doesn't have anyone in scoring range, unless he finds some chain pushes. 
I mean, that's not impossible. If you don't lose his skin off, goes there. No, he still can't chain push this way. And chain push the down guy forward, and then maybe him? Uh, he's gonna need some crazy dodging. I think. He's just gonna go for some hits. So we don't score on our drive, but we got his wizard out of the way. We have one cast, he has one cast, he had one bench, he had one bench, he has one knockout, that's the difference in the casualties. If that guy doesn't wake up, then we're up a player. And of course, assuming nothing happens on the rest of this time here. That's a red eye. Oh it's a oh no, it's a skull. Oh, that would be a nice casualty. Alright. Two times. Yeah, injured. Knockout doesn't come back. Good. These were up one. And we get first hit here. Uh, I know we have a defense one now. But specifically saved it. Yeah, there it is. Um, this looks good. Do we switch these around maybe? In case he wants to off with some of them. You think he'd go down the sideline? Maybe. Okay, we need to switch some beastmen around here, actually. Because they've got an SPP. Little rascals. Okay, let's save this setup. This defensive setup one. And I'm on the sideline. Okay. Why does this stay? Not ours. So let's hope if we fireball four players that we get three hits and one cast. I would be very happy with a fireball like that. We could uh, do the four strength ball carrier thing, but I don't think it would be as effective for him. He has uh, two throwers as well. One of them is short hands. Light kick. Maybe short hands won't be needed. It is. Hello. We'll see. Start with the mighty blow. Yeah, the sudden break. Just a stun. Okay. Numbers are even for now. Another pow. Another down beastman. Another pow. And he's fine. Okay, that's good. Now we need to worry about who's blitzing. He's not using the oofs. The oofs are not very useful in this mode. You're not using them very much. Uh, too bad he didn't use the oof. So, so now the numbers are truly even up and we still have... Um, Stun player. Is he going to foul that? Foul a guy is already stunned. Makes the pick up. Didn't need sure hands. Sure hands did nothing. Not a fireball. Four guys on a fireball would be nice, but I do do want to walk out in there. Don't think he will be uh, getting past us that quickly. Let's try to herd them together so that they. Make a tight cage, and then maybe we use fireball. Or if he tries to run past us, that would also work. Do we stand this up and entice the double one again? I'll run a guy over here just to uh, to threaten. Hopefully, force him into a cage or push him towards the side. Although he's probably better at the sideline than we are. Uh, you come into here. A little bit closer, don't need to worry too much. Who am I blitzing? I could just blitz him from here, from back there. It's probably okay. It must be a frenzy trap if he tries anything. 
Let's move this guy here. Back one. Don't think he'll be going around. Blitz here then. If he breaks through here, you think? Don't know. We can uh, always notice up there. Keep him here in case he fancies or something else silly like that. And then this guy comes back a bit so he can blitz. I've been closed off. Right, that's all the time we have today. We need to get our guys back in contention. Get him some two die blocks here. He takes them immediately. The ball's not safe right now. So if he rolls, well, it's not going to be a good enough frenzy trap. He still gets a two die. At least he's left in our tackle zone. Oh, but he breaks it under our another stone. Okay, so now he probably blitzes here then. That's the one die. No, Dauntless. A bit risky. You could have just moved the guy up to get a two die without Dauntless. But, you know, if you make the Dauntless and roll double sixes, it's okay. Ah, not armor break and armor nine. Come on. Armor nine is breaking more than armor seven this match. No, not really. I'm ready to break in more than number seven. So, do you think he goes straight through here? Can he protect that? He is going through. Oh, wow. I have a two die on the ball carrier right now. Well, now I have a dodge to have a two die on the ball carrier there, but this guy then. Alright, he's gonna catch him too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two GFIs for a two down the more carrier. Mm, maybe he is able to to make that safe. So what do we do here? Do the dodge blitz. It fails, he scores. And then we're chasing a tie. I really like standing him up. I'm gonna do it though. Alright, oh, the wizard, I forgot about that. Uh, so we're not using the wizard. Bring him down. Power him. Like so. We can then bring this guy in and tie up both Dauntless guys, which seems like a bad plan. You can also blitz him and stand here. Is that a better plan than dodging this guy? I don't think so, but I think I'll do it, because I'm, I don't feel confident in this. So we're gonna have the Dauntless guy here. We have to follow. Okay, that's lucky. I think we need to do this as well. Okay, well, if we're dodging like elves, then why not, right? Okay, I get greedy. And stun myself. Is this safe? I'm sure he can get it to be a... Yeah... You can just blitz him off, right? Assist, blitz... Well, assist, blitz... And then dauntless... And then he runs away. 
and then not even the uh, wizard is a uh, good, good move. It's gonna assist for the Dauntless instead. Well, it doesn't matter which order he gets those things, I guess. Push, that's good. This guy's gonna be free though, but this guy can easily march him. Well, not easily, I guess. Gets the push there. That way. Alright, he can go straight forward now. Two gophers to score. You think he makes the gophers? Uh, that's not the guy you sh needed to tie up, though. If you're not, if you're going to make the go for it, it's, it doesn't matter. Unless you fail it, of course. Ah, oh, he tied us up. No, he tied up the wrong guy again. He's gonna have some other knocks first, I guess. Another counter break, another knockout. That mighty blow has done work. This is looking like a loss at this point. Two GFIs. Takes a one die first. If he doesn't move, I'm gonna fireball this. I think. So after he's made everything else, now he's considering the score. Do it. Do it. Don't do it. What? That's still hit by a fireball. I got a fireball there. I don't think I get a better chance. Maybe I should lightning bolt. Nah, fireball. Oh wait a minute. Oof, I thought I thought I hit this guy. We got the ball carrier. And we stunned another guy. And it lands in the hands of a third guy. But that's okay. I can not get to him. Yes I can. If I get a push here, that's okay. You should stand up first. So our fireball was definitely worse than his. Let's see if we can still capitalize on it. I should not have followed that. Now I need to push this guy away. Oh, why did I follow? Sixty-seven dodge, sixty-seven dodge. Put him here. That doesn't matter. It's a sixty-seven dodge. Yes, we're dodging this guy. No, we're not dodging that guy. We're dodging this guy. What? Did I really take that long? Oh, I, I ate up my dodge square. That was a terrible turn. <sighs> Fun on that. Should have gone straight through there. Could have gone straight straight through there for the two die on the ball carrier. Well, now things are looking bad. We didn't even get the ball loose with our ball carrier. Uh, with our wizard. Well, neither did he, to be fair, but. At least we have somewhat of a of an advantage here since two of his players were on the ground there. That's a two die if you want to roll one in nines. Oh, and now he's over on that side. Okay. It looks like a dodge for a two die. It's gonna take the one in nine. Just out. Oh, that was a blitz. Oh, he's gonna assist to knock this guy down. Push him up here, probably. Oh, now we can't. Uh, one, two, th three. Now it's a go for it as well. Could we. Two die into two die. And now I could. No, I can't do that. Is that a push? No, it was a knockdown. And a 
one night, that's also a success. Looking very bad. You're not gonna take that, no. You're not gonna move. Uh, that's the play, I suppose. Take the two die first. Works. Knocked him out. That's a bonus. Now this strictly has to work. Three plus two plus to get a two die on the ball. And still not really a good option. Please. <laughs> That's probably game. Especially since we got stunned. So he can run down to this corner here. I don't really have anyone who can get there. But most of his guys are tied up, except for the guy who's holding the ball. One, two, three, four, five. It's a go for it. Uh, but now it's worse. One, two, three, two go for this. And two go for this and a dodge. Uh, if he tries to hit us here and rolls a, rolls a double skull, could do it. Was risky. Because now I can punch him down and then have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two go for to hit him. I guess you stay on floor. Yeah, there's nothing else I'd rather do than this. Can I put him somewhere which would save me a GFI? I think if I did this and followed... Uh, it's it's going to be a two GFIs. Alright, can we roll two, two pluses? One done, two done. Yes! I don't want the ball to scatter, I want it to stay in this corner. We could... Oh, perfect, perfect. No one can retrieve it now. Except maybe that jump up guy. No, he doesn't have jump up. The ball stays in the corner, we have it in the tackle zone. Glorious. Okay, got lucky there. Like, two die this guy, free him up. Okay, maybe I could have done something with him, to be honest. Oh, this is good. This is real good. These guys are not coming back for... for... Uh, to niggle. And you, my friend, are going over here. Stop him. And I'm going to try this dodge. Okay, fair enough. have three turns. I mean we could score but the main thing here I believe is to make sure he doesn't score because we have one guy out and two guys out. So we're currently nine players on the field but he has 
enough cast that he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players on the field. So we're up nine to seven. It's a 50 50 to win the coin flip. Uh, well, that's the one. But uh, uh, if we win the coin flip, I don't think it should be any problems. Two right for the up. Again. He's rolling the one in nine hits. Ah, oh, come on. I was just bragging over how good the cast, cast window looked. That's a stun move, so that's fine. He's bringing a few guys down. Dauntless guys. That's another Dauntless guy. That's a knockdown. I suppose we <laughs> are. We could try to dodge the pickup and the score. 67, 67, 50, 67, 83, 83. He failed a dodge. Ooh, it wasn't the answer. Okay, this just got a lot scarier. If he failed this pickup, these guys come down and things are suddenly very, very bad. Let's not roll any dice. Let's at least get. We can take a dauntless. It's in the end zone. Yeah, that doesn't count though. Well, I, I need to do the pickup first. If I fail this, he can just step in and take it. Oh, we failed it! It's out! Oh, come on! <laughs> That's the worst spot! Actually, well, yeah, I think that is the worst spot. Because he only needs a single dodge to take it. Here, they would have needed a worse dodge just to take it. I guess he might have been able to blitz this guy free, but... Seriously? Oh, he's gonna Dauntless Blitz here, pick it up with him. Okay, well that's better, I suppose. No? Oh, he has Jump Up. Jump Up, he only needs one go for it, and pick up. Fails to pick up! <sighs> oh, this game. How can we stop him? I say we Blitz here, put this guy next to the ball. You stand up, you stand up. Forget about scoring. This is survival. Can you get here? We can. We could push this guy away to free this guy up. Is that a better shot than blitzing with him? It's the same. It does keep our blitz down. Needs to be a knockdown. Okay. Well, at least we have the other plan. And you could stand up to me and not that you're going to be that relevant. So, you blitz. Needs to be here. We can easily get an assist. Blitz with him. That's terrible. One life for a push. Equal chance as as a dodge. So let's do it that way. So you comes you come down and tie him up. And then I try to dodge him, right? Oh! Alright, but he takes the only only place he can go through on anyway, so that was the bonus there. Yes! Phew. We started the 109. Well, we don't have a scoring threat, so let's not... Just, just not 
let him score. We can surf this guy though, that would be really good. Doesn't really matter where I put him. Put him. Could have maybe been at a three die. Can't now though. So this is the most important right now. And some surf. Oh, no damage. Even nice to have him gone. So what else is there? Maybe a hit on this Dauntless guy. Well, this one is strictly better because it has block. So let's take that first. I'm gonna hit don't this guy to you. You should not foul anything here. Oh no! Oh, so close, so close. Where's the stun? Uh, two die. Come on, one cast. We've deserved it in this turn. Two GFIs. To make a one die on an eight armor. I mean, I guess it's more valuable player for him. We have more chances to knock him down. It's worth taking. Strictly mathematically speaking. But he didn't do anything. Fouling is stupid. In this case, even on this guy, it would be a 58%. And we'd have a risk of being sent off. Right now we're in the lead. Unless his guys both wake up and ours both don't wake up. Oh right, he, he still has a turn. No, he doesn't. I was looking at my own uh, turn. Okay. So who wins the coin flip? This uh, pretty much... Oh no, both our guys stayed out. Did his guy get, get back? I missed that. So, it's, yeah, he won it, and he's gonna receive, shoot, and this guy stayed out too, so no one got back, interestingly, interestingly enough, okay, we need to be a little bit cautious then, how many does he have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's enough to score with, And definitely, we would have been better off winning the pointers. The Alright, let's see what the kickoff event is after he decides where to stand. He has both the four strength oofs, both the throwers, both uh, the dauntless guys, only positionals. It's only linemen. We've removed all four linemen and one uh, circle. Right. Aggressive lineup. Blitz would be good. Perfect defense is also decent. Also over here, so I think I'll just do this then. Maybe we do it this way. I have Dauntless there. In case it bounces here, I want to have guys right here. He could surf this. I can't put three guys out there though. But let's be a little bit worried that he goes through the middle. We have some guys back here, just in case. Oh, if it bounced here, it would be perfect. It's perfect as, uh, almost, almost as perfect as winning the coin toss. He can still reach this though. Can he make that safe? I guess he could pass, but that's not safe. It's the opposite of safe. It's 
This is one die. This is a two die. This could be a two die. That doesn't really do anything. Well, now this is a two die into two die. Sure. I mean, freeze this guy up. So we could blitz with him now. Oh, one die. Cancel the launch. That's pretty, pretty crazy. Wish I had a wizard. Oh, I guess another stun. As long as it stuns, I shouldn't complain. Go for it to pick up. No go for it to pick up. Why was it go for it the first time he tried? No, it's not oh, Ooh, he fails it! The ball's gonna be loose. If he blitz this guy. We have a five strength guy to pick it up with. Five strength, four strength, something like that. Okay, one guy back. Sweeper. This guy, I think, ties up this corner. You stand up. You know what? Three, four, five, six. That's a good for it. That's too bad. Would have been a really good uh, thing to have happen. I want to stand next to the Dauntless guys. Maybe we tie up his uh, his uh, blitzer there. So if we fail this, it's likely to go over here. So I'm just going to keep this guy here, I think. And now we blitz. Yes. Good. Don't follow. Get served. But I do want a guy on the ball in case it's a failure. I can also keep his throwers in line. 67% pickup. It's a success. Ooh. Oh, that's the time. Well, that's fine. Four strength there. He can knock him down. That's a dodge. But you don't want to do that. You have a free guy here who also has Dauntless. If you're going to hit the ball carrier, this guy's going to do it. You can push him down, get an assist here, get the Dauntless on the ball for a 2-die. That's a go for it. Which he makes. That's a dodge. Is he going for the surf? He's going for the surf, not the ball carrier. Doesn't get the surf, he gets the knockdown though. He takes the push. No armor break. So now what? This hit is a 2 die into 2 die. This guy's free. He ties up the ball carrier. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna be a big scrum on the sideline for this. Uh... Okay, the frenzy works, and then he gets an assist for this, but if it's a push, it's a 1 die. Pushing to one die. And one die is a push, so he's fine. Ooh, he's, uh, he has uh, managed to uh, clear things out quite well. What do we do? do? Stand up here. What do we blitz? Can we chain push? Can we get a guy up there? Let's go for it. Do we want closer? We do not. Stand you up, take this hit. Stand him up because he's not dodging. Uh, okay, there. Guy here. No, we need someone behind. 
We'll go back. Take this block. I forgot to uh, save someone for the actual blitz. Okay, well we don't need to. We can blitz from here, because I'm silly. I didn't see that. Push him to there. Yes, that's what we want to see. I can push my ball carrier free. That's better. I was going to bl block him as my next move. Oh, this is great. A stun on top of it. I'm not sure if I should have followed there, but I did. Now you go back here. That's pretty safe. This dauntless guy, though. Don't want to stand you up. I'm going to take a one die on this. Because I want to roll a skull, apparently. So now he gets a one die on the ball. With block. Regret. Well, I guess uh, you owe a, you owe a skull to Nuffle now and then. There's no way he's not taking this one now. Gave it to him. I take other blocks first. Here goes, one die. Fifty percent chance to knock us down. All right, yeah. If the this works, and it did, but you only got a push. Lovely. This is a two die into two die now, since he didn't follow. Gets him down, marks the ball carrier. We can blitz him loose, but where do we go from there? Everybody else is on the floor. At least this guy can move it. So I'm thinking we need to mark him, blitz him, so we don't have to dodge. Then we punch this guy. And here we'll be rather safe. Except for this guy. We mark him, right. But I can't get around there. Put on one dodge. I'm safer where I am right now. Why are these guys not standing? Depending on what this is, I might take a chance here. Ooh, that's so good. So good. Oh, it could have been a little bit better, but uh, yeah, I'll take that. Okay, do we do we dare? If we don't dare, then where do we go? Back here. Dodge for a push. Mm. If this fails, what happens? All goes loose. It shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna try it. Oh goodness. Okay. Okay. He's gonna have to dodge somebody. If that dodge fails, dare I say it. And it's still four strength and more carrier. This dauntless guy here should probably be the one who takes the hit. If you can make that dodge to mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He gets a one die. 
Okay, he's not going to blister ball carrier. He's gonna free himself up to mark. That's fine. He can easily blitz that off. Easily, easily. Uh, you know, if we don't roll a one in nine. One die block for a push. Okay. One second, I need to close the door here. Okay, here's here's the big one. He's going to try that dodge. Failed it. Okay, good for us. And he's out. He's out. Okay, one less player to care uh, to care about, to worry about. Not that we cared about him. So he's on the right side. We can stand him up. Hello. Oh no. All right. Here we are. Get me worried. And this is possibly a surf, but I don't care at this point. You're gonna go up and mark this guy because his jump up could hurt us. And then I'm going to try to blitz this guy off. A push. We got a push. Don't follow that. That means I go. Here, we could one die, but yeah, he can't one die both of us, right? You go this way. I can hit this guy to free him up, which is useful because he can help. This is looking, uh, there I say it, very, very promising. I think I'll go here just to make sure that he has to make a crazy dodge. And then we try to knock this guy down as well. It's ended. Phew! Well, he's gonna have to do something very special this turn if we're not to be completely safe and touch down. And you've probably not seen a. Uh, uh, Overtime before, if you only watch my channel, which of course mm -hmm. I assume why would you watch anything else? Um, overtime, as you might have figured out by now, it's eight more turns. Another coin flip to see who gets to choose what, who to, who receives and who uh, doesn't. He can punch him and then he could be off. Now he's gonna blitz with him and try to mark. Okay, and. Uh, of course you choose to receive, because whoever scores first, wins. So if it doesn't matter if we score on turn 2 or turn 8, that's the end of the game. He's gonna try to force us to make GFIs. Do we do those, do those GFIs, or do we... Uh... Oh, he's gonna march. Oh, he made it! Okay, now we're gonna have to do something crazy. Well, not too crazy. He has a push. It's gonna surf. Him. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I gave him that surf. On the house. Right. And if no one scores in in uh, eight turns in overtime, there's actually a penalty kick, which is basically just a coin flip, more or less. Okay, we can make this a three die and then blitz him, and then not be safe, but at least. Somewhat safe, so let's use the guys on the edge first. One, two, three, four, five. That's enough. That's not enough. Triple die for a push. Got a push. Got two pushes. And now, for, well, preferably a removal that would guarantee us the game. Oh yes, that's it. That's it. He's dead.
not gonna do any go for it, of course. Here, because we have block. Oh, we have Norse, man. Block versus no block. It's been doing that to me all game, so. Yeah, that was a real close game. I'm happy that I won it. Of course, uh. I could uh, take a lot of hits now, but I think that's pretty bad manners. There's probably people waiting for our match. Our division was, a, uh, or our cup was a little bit behind because it started late. Someone didn't accept their ticket from the start. So I'm just going to score this time, I think. Even though some SPP would be nice. One night here. With Mighty Blow. And Frenzy. So two chances. Yeah, he's not gonna do anything. Maybe he shouldn't. Uh, should try to keep his players healthy for the next cup. Not uh, gorgeous. Well, of course I'm not. I'm just gonna score. So there we go. One. That means we're in the final, final of the triple, I always forget, triple, not cup, cup is the main mission, the triple mug, that's it, the mug is the second. So there we go, another 1-0 victory for us, I think we got 11 as well, I rolled a 1 for the winnings, let's make that a 6, and... Yeah, look at this. Uh, Cliff the Cowboy levels up. Great. 15 armor breaks versus 12. Not that big of a difference against Norse. And uh, he took 79 blocks, we took 54. And still, we had a lot more uh, casualties. So, yeah, his armor was what cost him the game. And some exciting stuff on close turns. So, yes, I will. I will. Uh, There we go, it's been confirmed. The round awaits confirmation. And I will have a quick look at the team. Did we get an uh, agility minus on a beastman? Or strength minus on a beastman? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's level up this chaos mode. Ah, uh, we're gonna get another block. And. Uh, yeah, that'll be it. Some fan factor now. Team value is almost up to 1000. Have you ever heard of such a team? Right. But I'll be back next time with the final. And uh, it'll be exciting to see who we will play. Maybe we will be the cripple mug holder. At least we're not the cripple cup holder. So, uh, yeah, we will see. Depends on who we will play and how we'll do. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again next time.